it's not your grandma's library anymore. At the Aurora Public Library, they've teamed up with the local breweries around the city of Aurora for your not so average craft brew tour. Well, who knew brews and books paired so well together? What's the tour all about? Glad you asked. Let's take a look. Hi, I'm Sarah with Aurora Public Library. We're here at Launchpad Brewery, one of 13 locations on the Aurora Craft Brews Tour. Grab your passport and let's go get some beer. So what do you think cinesilicophobia means? Cinesilicophobia? Yes. Funny story, my head brewer Paul always asked me this question because he has a fear of an empty glass. So when we're drinking beers together, we usually get down pretty low, mm -hmm. and then we'll go fill up our glass on the tap, and then everybody's like, oh, why are you filling up? I'm like, well, it's only one beer if you keep filling it. Exactly. It's a fear for an empty glass. So we do a lot of things with the city of Aurora. Um, one of the big things we love to do is actually incorporate the city into what we're doing. It allows everybody to get together and kind of just have a good time and see what the city has to offer. So the Aurora Public Library started the Aurora Craft Brews Tour as a way to engage the community in a unique way and encourage the community to engage with each other. The library is able to put our name out there and kind of reintroduce people to what a 21st century library looks like. We've had a lot of people tell us they've found new breweries through this program, so they're exploring their city and supporting local businesses. Well, I was stationed here in 2007 with the uh, Air Force out at Buckley Air Force Base. When, after my indoctrination, they took me over to a place called Dry Dock, uh, a little brewery that just started up about a year before. And I was never introduced to craft beer, so I was fell in love immediately with it. Well, the guys from Dry Dock own a place called the Brew Hut, and they taught me how to homebrew. And that's kind of where it all began. Um, I was homebrewing for friends and for the military guys that I was stationed with at the house and it's kind of just grown into uh, Launchpad Brewery. Well, being Launchpad, I would say like sci-fi or uh, some space books, some Apollo 11 stuff. We have the 50th anniversary coming up, so we've been reading a lot of uh, Apollo 11 books and a lot of uh, magazines. But uh, really anything, uh, we get people in here reading all kinds of books, and uh, it's, it's a lot of fun. Grab an Aurora Craft Brews Tour passport at any of the 13 locations that are on the passport, any of the breweries in Aurora, or you can go to the Aurora Public Library website, auroralibrary.org, or visit any of our six library locations to pick up a passport. I guess I was thinking about this. Do you condone drinking and reading? Only when done responsibly. Oh, well, of course. And encourage people to consult your librarian or brewmaster. There you go. If there you any go. Questions. Find a good book. <laughs> Find a good book to read. So. Yeah. Well, cheers. Thank cheers. you. Cheers. How are you doing? The Aurora Public Library is back with the Aurora Craft Brew Tour. Explore Aurora and it's, it's exciting. Uh, craft beer scene. This year the tour will showcase 11 of Aurora's best craft breweries. Pick up your passport at any Aurora Public Library or any participating brewery now through October 31st. Collect five stamps and you'll receive a commemorative pint glass. Collect 10 stamps and you'll receive a growler. That's a lot of room for a lot of brew. Well, grab your favorite book and head to Aurora this summer. Learn more about the Aurora Craft Brew Tour at auroragov.org.